Welcome, well, how's everybody doing? A beautiful day in Los Angeles, Southern California. We're down in the beach, California, at the uh, Magic uh, Flying Carpet Studios. Yeah. I'm here with uh, a returning guest that I think everybody will recognize if they haven't uh, already. And Anthony, Anthony, tell us your last name. I don't want to butcher it. Amarello. Amarello. Yes. So you're uh, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. And we've got sitting in engineer extraordinaire and fog hat uh, entrepreneur. Uh, podcast and uh, lecture engineer uh, Charlie, how you doing, Charlie? I'm doing good. Pull for my kitty. So, <laughs> that's how works. so uh, let's get started Amarillo, real quick. Wow. Uh, you guys must be rich with all that liquor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna swear you in because you haven't been over here at the new studio. True. Uh, the Quran, the Bible, or the uh, yellow pages. <laughs> Can I take all three? <laughs> You, oh, yes, you can have three. Uh, um, I think uh, Roger Nygaard took all three. <laughs> so this is only the second time that uh, a guest has chosen all three. You must have... Uh, I'm very religious. Very, uh, well, I was thinking you were very uh, cheeky. <laughs> yeah, I'll take all three. Do <laughs> you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing about the truth to help you God while you're on dead air, L.A.? I swear to all gods. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> take your hand off. Okay. <laughs> Anthony, Trip you swear to tell the whole box. truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God, while you're on dead air, L.A.? I do, I do. All right, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, that's out of the way, so we expect mm -hmm. you to... That was Bad Ashley playing us in, you know. How do you like... Do you like that uh, music? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. It's kind of like a fusion punk, you know, uh, music to just get... Uh, to drive to or get excited to. Uh, music to be maybe angry to, uh, by. Maybe yeah. to listen to it. While you're doing a drive-by, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Bad Ashley Band out of New York, Queens. Uh, wonderful group of uh, young musicians that are really doing a great job for uh, Dead Air LA and in the previous uh, uh, Dead Air. And uh, just for our listeners, if you don't know, you can listen to the uh, audio only of, Spotify, uh, of this on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and, uh, and just remember, uh, we're in a work in progress. This is number 11th in the new... Flying Carpet Studios. Uh -huh. Who'd you have in the band? Who who who's, who's who was in? in the studio last night? Uh, Gap Band. Gap Band. Yep. Wow. Uh, for formerly known as, uh, they they changed their name because they're doing all new material, and uh, so it's called the God Music. Now. Why the heck would they change their name? Uh, you know, when, it, when you get a good thing going, you just gotta swap it up. You know? Bars do that sometimes. They change. Somebody buys a bar and then they change the name. Yeah. Keep the same name. You you know. Uh -huh. Why would you change the name? Of the because the IRS are looking for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so. Uh, let's get rid of the weather real quick. The weather is a very very important part of Dead Air LA, as as I think everybody knows. It's a beautiful day out today. It's 72 degrees, uh, 22.2 degrees Celsius. The biometric pressure is uh, 30. I don't have it here. 30.02. I don't have it here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to, you'll have to check your own listings. A uh, dew point is 33 degrees or uh, 0.6 degrees Celsius. The winds are uh, two miles per hour out of the east south. We had a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, Santa Ana winds uh, situation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was so windy. And we didn't have any problem. I heard the winds were in Santa Monica, the valley, uh, all over the place, Hollywood. Trees falling down on cars. Yeah, yeah in the comedy store lot uh, this weekend. Yeah. Just palm tree leaves wow. falling into the lot. Redondo Beach, nada. <laughs> <laughs> nada. Yeah, must be nice. Yeah, must be nice. In Conway Airport, all the little planes were flying about a foot off the ground because they chained down. And uh, the moon is going to be a whack, uh, waxing gibbons. Uh, gibbons. Uh, moon rises at 2.47 p.m. and it will set at 6.01 a.m. You'll... 12% of the moon will be visible by the naked eye. High tide is 1.40 p.m. Sunset is 5.15 p.m. Sunrise, who cares? Everybody is sleeping. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to see the sunrise when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Everybody's into the sunset, but it's hard to The moon was get up incredible early. last night. You look at that moon, did you see it? The moon? Yeah. I didn't get a chance. I'll tell you the truth. Sometimes I do. Um, 
the night before I was out there looking at the moon. But last night I, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I told you I saw the moon. Uh, humidity is 47 percent. The UV is uh, three or low. That's it. That's it. Uh -huh. Air quality. Uh, you can chime in anytime you want, Anthony. You know the deal. Yeah. No one gets to speak. Uh, you know, you don't have to raise your hand. You just have something to say. You say it. Honestly, I didn't know if three UV was a lot or a little. I didn't know how to react to it. It's uh. Seems low to me. Seems kind of low to it's me low. too, Jesse. Yeah. What do you think, uh, uh, it's low. Uh, yeah, Charlie? Very low. You it's think nice. it's low? You, you hang out there all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Air quality is 50 or moderate. And the visibility, of course, is always 10 miles on a clear day. I guess that's as far as they're making it. Excellent day to go flying. You can see. Uh, so let's start with you, Jesse, so in case anybody doesn't know. Tell us a little about yourself. What are you doing now? How's it going? Going great. I work at the comedy store now, which is great. See you more performing. How long have you been out there now? Uh, been doing stand up for 10 years, been out in working at the comedy store for uh, about six months now and so how did you get that well y we met through red band and i, I knew red band through kill tony so right. i started on that uh, and then joined the band to play trumpet which we played on the last episode and uh it, that's how i got into the comedy store hanging out there and just uh, after a while I, somebody said do you want to work here and i auditioned and got Who the audition that? Uh, Dave Waite and then Mitch Burrow. I think they've both been guests. Everybody strings attached. You didn't have to do anything you didn't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just a five you know, minute set. Hollywood. You gotta watch out. You know. Luckily, we have female bookers. So. <laughs> so, there, there, was, there was no me too or any hanky panky. You can tell us. No, it was like uh, you. You're hired, and I was like, me too. I'm yeah. hired. <laughs> so, <it's okay. laughs> Brothers and sisters. It's older sister, six years older. And, and a yeah. sister. Yeah, one sister. Parents still married? No, they've been divorced since I was six. And, uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. so you come from a broken family. I'm totally <laughs> shattered. That's why you smoke cigarettes. And, <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to quit. Yeah. Did yeah. you ever smoke cigarettes? No. You know, that's good. Uh, no. I'm surprised because doctors used to tell you to smoke them, right? Like it's good for your health. Digestion. Back in the day. <laughs> right? Uh, Charlie, did the doctor say it was okay to smoke back in the day? Yeah, good for your AIDS digestion, I think that's what they said. AIDS uh, digestion? Digestion, yeah. Did yeah. you smoke, Charlie? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and you quit? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. That's and I good. Back up again, and I quit again. <laughs> yeah, I've quit. I've quit so many times. I'm really good at Where quitting. Where are the parents now? So. Uh, Tucson in North Carolina. Broken family, wow. Sorry. Yeah, big family, though, yeah. you know. What's that? Big family. That's what, what do you mean, big family? Because, you know, they're all... If it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have one glass, but if it shatters, you got a million pieces, so... <laughs> Justify a broken family, sure. You know that's what it, that's what America is all about. Justifying and, and explaining away. I mean, you come from a broken family. Why would you? Uh, well, maybe funny. Each family got a lot of people more. Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to rationalize it. <laughs> Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Have you been to therapy about the broken family? No. I've never gone to therapy. I, I went once for like three sessions and I hated it. That's so why do I got to open up to this person? Well, I don't know. Less yeah. than when all the other, uh, your peers and everybody in class had uh, a complete family and you were coming from a broken family. Well, you, you don't realize it. No, not until you're older. Because when you're, you, when you're just, that's your whole life. Because I was six, so I didn't really remember the before. So it just seemed normal to me. I love the glasses, too. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so cool. You know, uh, I, I don't think it affected you at all. Yeah, of course. You, you seem like a normal person, even though coming from such horrific uh, upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> Six my parents years old to lose you, have your parents, and who'd you go with? They didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> And they say, you know, I still see my dad like every other weekend. So I, I they, and they love me and I love them. So it's like, you know, it's better they're not together. And I have a stepmom too, and I love her. So, you know. Yeah, but does she love you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> she says it. And, uh, and just know that if you do get married, you'll be more inclined to be divorced because you come from a divorced family. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, so your life, watch your life closely. Stay away from them Are you married, Altsman? No. Have you been married? No. 
I gave an engagement ring once to a woman, and I regretted it walking out of the effing store. How did, it, how did how you propose? Stupid. How stupid. You don't need to propose. Diamonds? <laughs> they think there's a diamond ring in their future from Tiffany's on Fifth Avenue in New York City? You don't even have to propose. You just walk in the building. You, you threw the ring. To walk in the building. I didn't even have enough money for it. I had to go up in a booth upstairs. They got little rooms where you figure out the finances. You know? Yeah, like you bought a car. Oh, a car. A beautiful ring. And you don't get them back either when they're from Tiffany. No. Uh, no. All I right. think so. So uh, the comedy's doing well. How's the club? You saw all the big stars there now. Yeah, I saw you bring in New Year's. That was amazing. Right. That's, yeah. you. That's your opinion. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I heard one lady. Every it was great. You brought it in great, and I, but I heard one lady in the very back of the room, and she goes, "What's going on?" <laughs> yeah. It's like this She's is amazing. Family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's probably the one that escaped for me when I went down to the uh, Alzheimer's wing of the old folks' home to do, do a little work down there. Yeah, yeah, if you ever go to an old folks' home, there's always some guy in the hallway who thinks he's a Civil War general or something. And he's yeah. Telling people, like, it's like I went to the hospital. If you ever go to the hospital, it's kind of, there's always a patient, an older gentleman usually, and he's yelling, let's go, let's go, and he doesn't realize he's not going anywhere, no. he keeps yelling, let's go, That's let's you go. Need, you got to have a patient advocate if you go there. Or, or a St. Bernard. Something. Not a St. Bernard. <laughs> what is that stupid fat lab? Yeah, there's got to be a fat lab in the hospital running yeah. around saliva and everything. You know, the last thing I want is a damn dog in a, my hotel room. Or you got to get a Malamute like I have. Anthony. They're really silent until they just jump up right on you. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, where are you, uh, where are you originally from? Massachusetts. Wilson. All right, Long nice. Island. Wooshka. Yeah. 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 How, how long you know you've that? been at the comedy ah. store? I've been there for eight months. So they, I was doing those quarantine shows at Magic Castle, those drive-in shows Tammy Joe Darren was producing. Oh, the parking lot shows. Yeah. yeah. And how, how crazy is that, you know? You're in your car in L.A. traffic, and then you're going to get home, and then you're going to get back in your car and go watch a comedy show and then beep your horn if it's funny. What a... What, some people, some people do the windshield wiper. How crazy. I'd rather put pencils in my eardrums. I mean, uh, just to cry for help. Yeah, just I hate it. Just to cry for help. I, I, I stayed away from any... I, I need a building. I need a building. I need a roof. I need four walls. I'm not doing comedy out in the effing parking lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can wait till it passes. I don't. You know. Yeah. I can. I can wait till it's over. <laughs> I got other things going on in my life. I don't even need to go to an asphalt parking lot no. and tell jokes to parked cars. <laughs> Come on! How crazy is that? Insane. Only thing it was a wild experience. Well, they never booked me, so I'm a little bit angry. <laughs> yeah. You get the next lockdown. I, 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 <laughs> I would have said no because there's no, there's no, you know. So how was it? The, the show. I mean, that was the weirdest stand up I've ever done. And you know, you've done. We've all done stand up in weird places, but they because you can't hear laughter everybody's inside their car so they would give them these plastic clappers so you would hit a punchline and then 15 seconds later you would just hear it almost sounded like like crickets like like, like a just, mental hospital yeah <laughs> like a freaking <laughs> mental hospital yeah. Yeah. yeah and like oh my god i, I David Spade, Bill Burr did those shows, and the, they had hard times. You know what I mean? It is so. For Why would you want to give yourself such a hard time? Yeah, it the, was. The confusion is just amazing. Hit me in the head with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you're originally from Massachusetts. Yes, sir. And uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I'm the youngest of four. And who are the other three? My I men, mean, men or women? What are they? What do you got I have, there? Uh, my oldest brother, and then I have two sisters between us. Parents still married? No. Holy cow. Yeah, this my is... parents got divorced like seven <laughs> years ago. And oh, that was, oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's worse. Oh, my God. I, I, I was Maybe you guys total... can get together and figure out why your life is going to <laughs> I just remember my parents being like, we, we want you to know it's not your fault, which I thought is something you tell kids. Because at 22, I was like, I know this isn't my fault. <laughs> this, is, this is between you two, you know? Yeah, but, are, but when they tell you it's not your fault. Yeah. They, it's our fault. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah. they, it was my yeah, fault. I'm yeah. sure if they didn't have four kids, it might have worked out differently. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh. you're Italian. 
Italian and Armenian. An- oh, Anthony yeah. is oh Armenian. Nice. I like that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's you so know, you that's s- the first time I've ever. Heard yeah, that. I was like, you don't hear that <laughs> too often. You tell people you're Armenian in L.A. and they they might as well just. Well, beat what you, you do is just right. what you do is you hide your cell phones. That's what you do. Yeah. Yeah. You guys like taking those cell phone numbers and making millions of dollars. Yeah. Armenians over in the valley. That's all yeah. they do. <laughs> no, they just that's drive around in BMWs. Nobody works. Yeah. Yeah. But they have all this money. They have all this freaking money. Yeah. It's just it's sort of like the, it's a switch, really. It's not like a view meter, which you got varying shades of whatever. Um, it's either a great stand up pe- people count them every day or watch your wallet and everything else you own. Because you got to be patient. He'll get to the point. <laughs> 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 he likes to uh, start a little bit and then get to the point. But uh, and this is not all Armenians. I don't, I I, I shouldn't uh, paint the Armenian population with a broad brush. East Coast Armenians and West Coast mm-hmm. Armenians are completely different people. They fight. Like, they, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they don't like each other. Yeah. Where West Coast Armenians almost seem like the Jersey Shore Guido types mm-hmm. with the tight shirts. Yeah, they yeah. don't. They don't work where. East Coast Armenians are very close knit. They work very hard. They're mostly in finance and jewelry and stuff like that. But completely different people. How long have you been in LA? Uh, seven years. Seven years now. And what do you do over at the comedy store besides comedy? Uh, security. So, the, one of the managers was moonlighting at that uh, drive-in show as security. Oh, the Cry for Help show? Yes, the Cry for Help show. <laughs> I must do comedy. I must do comedy. I must do comedy no matter what. I have to do comedy. I have to do comedy. I have to tell jokes. I have to tell jokes. <laughs> they say names it right. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> but he was moonlighting doing some security, and we had a kid jump the fence, and he was trying to rush the stage while Jesus Trejo was on. Oh, yeah, Jose. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a great comic. But I cut this guy off before he could get to the stage, and I just, we barrel rolled him out of there and five minutes later they're like hey you want to do secure you want to do that exact thing at the comedy <laughs> store and I was like yeah excellent so oh, how nice was that so you you were that was like a job interview yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right and uh was he rushing the stage because he liked uh, Jose, or did he was no. he upset about something Jose said? Or what? Hey Zeus. <laughs> hey Zeus. Why are you laughing at? Because you called him <laughs> Jose. Uh, hey, uh, he hey was Zeus. Right. He was clearly like a YouTuber trying to get views and like mess oh, up the clicks? show. Oh, clicks. Clicks. Yeah, yeah, trying to get uh, clicks. An influencer. Yeah. yeah. You ever think yeah. about doing that, Holzman? You're an influencer. Do you oh, ever think no. about doing more, uh, more like TikToks and? I, 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 I'm not on TikTok. You ever think about doing that? I, I watch. Uh, I, I got a, I, I've got uh, Instagram and, yeah. and, and Facebook. It kind of, it's, it's, it's enough for me right now. He's really touchy about that subject because we, we, like, we was talking about. Hey, we should go do pop ups in Hollywood. Like, you go start your harmony, and I'll come up like this homeless guy, and we'll do that. He didn't speak to me for six months after that. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's play a little game here, and if you get it right, you get nothing. How old do you think Jim Carrey is, uh, Je- uh, Jesse? Fifty-one. Anthony? Yeah, fifty-five. I'll say. And uh, Charlie? Fifty-six. Wrong. <laughs> Uh, how, how old do you think? Uh, <laughs> do we get to know the answer? <laughs> no, I'm going to ask it again the next time around. Uh, <laughs> comedian responds to fans' artwork and shares his own drawings on Twitter. That's Jim Carrey. Walter Mosley, crime novelist, wrote new Marvel comic series about the thing from the Fantastic Four. How old do you think Walter Mosley is? Uh, J- uh, Jesse? 32. Anthony? 62. And, uh, uh, Charlie. The name's Charlie. Yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we got to get name 80. checks. 80. Uh, wrong. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> How about Paul Stanley from the rock band Kiss? Front man suffered from COVID-19 over the summer. COVID-19. It kicked my ass, he said. Well, lucky it didn't kill you. I uh-huh. How old is Paul Stanley, uh, Jesse? We got to speed this up. Sixty-seven. Because we can't we can't spend too long on this one segment. Paul Stanley. Uh, how old? Seventy-three. Sixty-seven. Uh, Charlie. Uh, sixty-two. Uh, oh, you're all wrong. Yes. <laughs> uh, Boo Bridges, actor from Family of Stars. Boo. Lloyd Jeff is a vegan. 
and a self-described eco-warrior trying to save the planet one tin can at a time. How old do you think he is? 50. Okay. 72. And Charlie. I think he said 45. Any Cardi B's new boyfriend? Yeah, all you wrong. Leslie Stahl. <laughs> I don't know these people. 2021 makes the Emmy-winning 60 Minutes correspondent of 30 years on the new show. I don't like her anymore. She was asking somebody some oh. stupid questions. Leslie Stahl, she's a correspondent oh, for 60 Minutes. Yeah, How old are you, Jesse? Uh, Anthony? 50. And, and, 68. And, uh, <laughs> I'd say about 68 and damn liberal. Okay, and the last yeah. one is uh, Rita Mon Monroeo. Rita Star teacher accused of murder in the upcoming dog. Some actress. I don't care who she is. I don't know who she is. Rita, M-O-R-E-N-O. -E 16. <laughs> Rita Morano. 30. Uh, how about you? Uh, 62. All right, you all were wrong. <laughs> None of you got anything right. Oh, there's one left here. How about uh, Ricky Martin? He joined the boy band uh, Medindo at age 12 before taking off as a solo artist who brought Latin music into the mainstream. So how old is Ricky Martin, uh, Jesse? 42. Uh, 53. And uh, uh, Charlie. Yeah, 48. He, he, he's, wrong. He's got a wrong. <laughs> All yeah, you guys are wrong. You didn't get anything right. Ricky Martin is 50. Wow. Yeah, I was closest. Jim Carrey just turned 60. Mm -hmm. Walter Mosley yeah. was 70. Paul Stanley mm -hmm. from the Kiss Band is 70. Mm -hmm. okay. Bill Bridges is 80. Uh, Leslie Stahl is 80 yeah. and needs to be taken out to pasture. Oh. <laughs> her oh, and, uh, her and uh, Vanna White. How long are they going to let Vanna White? Be in front of that camera. She must be like she was a nurse in World War One. For real? <laughs> She's old. Oh, she is so. Oh, I have nothing against senior citizens, but not you know. Just as long as Leslie Stahl's nose grows. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Uh, no one got any of those uh, correct. We don't watch TV, man. We got other things in life we do. Right. You know. No, it's We're no stalkers. Well, or uh, you know, stalk being stalked. Now, this is something that's very important. I wanted to get, uh, I got cut off on the last presentation. Oh, this being we got sound I don't like this This one. is about bleeding gums. Mm -hmm. You guys look like, let me see your teeth. You got some nice teeth. How about you? Let me see those teeth. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if your gums bleed when you brush, it usually means that there is plaque buildup on teeth that is inflaming the gums. Bleeding gums don't mean potential tooth loss. The underlying inflammation increases your risk of uh, health issues, including heart disease and Alzheimer's. That's a lie, in my opinion. What? Huh? Heart Why? disease and Alzheimer's. What? Please. It's just a medical, it's just more dental people trying to get you to go to the dentist every five minutes. It's trying to you, sell toothpaste. When's the last time you heard of somebody died because they got a piece of plaque uh, out of their oh, teeth yeah. that <laughs> traveled through their bloodstream and gave them a heart attack? Wow. It's, it's the cheeseburgers and hamburgers that are going to give you a heart attack <laughs> or, 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 uh, or your uh, inheritance. Uh, not inheritance, uh, you know, uh, when it runs in the family. Oh, yeah, genetics. Uh, uh, genetics. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not dirty teeth. Well, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> dirty teeth is so funny. Gums, to Charlie. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, the answer, brush at least twice a day. I think everybody does that. I do it more. I mm -hmm. try to do it if, if I'm in my private residence right after I eat. Mm -hmm. I love brushing my teeth. I, I can't stand mm -hmm. the feeling of food inside my teeth. Uh, brush at least twice a day for at least two minutes. Then take... Uh, the time it takes to listen to Queen's We Will Rock You. Well, what happens if you don't know anything about that band? Then you can have a girlfriend brush your teeth. Use floss or a small uh, interdental brush to reach in between teeth once a day and use an antibacterial rinse. No, I'm not doing that either. I don't no. do that. Yeah. No, yeah. One's, no one's buying a bacterial rinse. What, what am I on? Do I look like a Hollywood movie star? Do I look like an? In, do I look like Tom Cruise? Do I look like George Clooney? Do I look like an international movie star where I have to have an antibacterial rinse? Yeah. Give me a break. Uh, how come you can't Honey, talk? we're out of bacterial varicical rinse. <laughs> How come we need more and, oh, what if, How come you can't talk and smell like uh, alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> uh, rinse and cleaning your teeth. So that's important information for anybody who cares. Do you know you drunk off Listerine? Uh, I have items of interest too. 
<laughs> I, had, I hadn't been able to get to some of them. Uh, this is a good one. Do you like animals? Uh, I love uh, animals. You own a pet? Yeah, I have a dog. Um, I don't think I had a dog last time I was on. But yeah, she's same dog? Half Great Dane, half cattle dog, like mix. Oh, that's a great. Oh yeah, my cowboy. god. Yeah. How about you, Anthony? You awesome. got a pet? Uh, my dog passed away a couple months ago. Sorry. Okay. That's yeah. all right. He was a great dog. 13 year old Pitbull Boxer. He nice. was great. Yeah. 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 What was that one um, for? Because <laughs> everybody from Boston has pit bulls. Is that true? Well, most people I know. I, 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 I didn't know I was giving you a look, Anthony. <laughs> well, it, it was the double blink that I was like, the poor boxer, you looked like you were going to slap Well, I got, a, I got a grapefruit-sized tumor going on the face of my skull. That's what yeah, that was like. Uh, he was hoping you hadn't bring him today because he's a little nervous about uh, that. Well, this is good for you, Jesse. And uh, Have you ever had a pet, uh, Charlie? Um, yeah, All quite right. a few. I've had about 40... 42 dogs. So I'm far. looking forward to getting the dogs. <laughs> At the same time? or uh, no, One after um, another. Uh, consecutive. Uh, this, is, uh, this is how to shop for pet insurance. Know what's not covered. Pet insurance doesn't yet. cover routine wellness care or pre-existing conditions. Well, how do you know if your dog has pre You know, it's just so much gray area, you know? Such a racket. And you know, how am I supposed to know? Yeah, exactly. Well, you live on a farm. You just make pets out of most things. And then when hunting season comes, you go out and kill them. Yeah, I mean, the funny yeah. thing yeah. My, is... My grandma told me that is it, that's how... When I had to put my last dog down, it was so hard, and it's hard for everybody. And she told me, well, when I was a kid, my, my dad, your great-granddad, took him out in the yard and shot him. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, that's crazy. Well, well, we don't eat dogs in our family. <laughs> I, I, worked, I worked with a guy like that. He bought a puppy or something, and the puppy yeah. was being a, it wasn't doing the right thing with the family. Uh -huh. So yeah. I just took it in the backyard, <laughs> the oh, head, oh. The yeah. down, yeah. and shot the dog in the back of the neck. Why'd you do this? Because <laughs> <laughs> you blew the others off. <laughs> and then another guy told me another story, the same guy. He lives up in uh, in Pahrump now, you know, Pahrump, Nevada. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he was a, there's always just, just fascinating people when you work, a day job or any job. He's always... Just a, a, a riot, you know, there's the employees who can't mind their own business and they're worrying about the other employees and when they're going on vacation and how come they're off and, I, and they're writing emails and they're just a pain in the butt. There are other employees that are just weird and they don't bother anybody. You know? Then there's employees that have been there 30 years and they act like they're on probation, you know? Yeah. You know, I just got this job and I act like I'm here 30 years and you act like you just got this job. You know, it's just crazy employees, just crazy. Every time you think you met the craziest people, get a job and you just <laughs> the yes. craziest people in the whole wide world you wonder how they got hired There's and only uh, one question you really got to ask those guys uh how do you feel about guns <laughs> <True>. <laughs> and he uh he told me there was uh the neighbor's dog they kept loot they kept they kept getting the neighbor's dog loose and he didn't want the dog uh biting his kids so what you know how we fixed the problem he told the neighbor hey you can't take you know he he got the dog with some food into the into the car and just Drove him away. <laughs> wow. Drove him away, and that, that was the problem solved. <laughs> that means shooting him. Well, that's what people do. Sometimes, if you don't solve their problem conscientiously, mm -hmm. yeah. they'll take it into their own hands. Right. He's got kids. He don't want the freaking dog running loose, biting his kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. That's you, what you, mean. you can handle this this way, or we'll handle it this way. You know? Yeah. In LA, they would take the kids in the car and drive them out. See, that's from the broken home. Yeah. yeah. They wouldn't have said that unless you're from a broken home. God, I'm so sorry. I think everybody feels. Both of them. <laughs> you can <laughs> stop it. No, but I had, I had beautiful parents. They never fought. They, we never saw our parents even in an argument. I never saw my parents Can you fight. Believe it, because they were divorced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 to leave my own podcast. I don't care. She's a Tijuana survivor, man. Come on. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, we never saw our parents fight. My father would come home and my my, my, my mother would say, do you, do you, do you want to, she would mix him a drink. And, 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 uh, they, and they, they, they probably had bad things to say, but they never said them. They mm. never said them. They didn't say bad things about any family members. Not in front of me. Probably yeah. behind my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But never to us or about anybody. That's and beautiful. My father was, a, uh, he was in World War II. He was in New Orleans in the medical department. And he was very upset the way that they were. You know, those rednecks were treating the uh, black people back in the day. You know, this is World War II, and he did right. not like it one bit. He wasn't a big fan of New Orleans. Yeah. And we got these, uh, how we know this is, uh, he wrote my mother letters. 
you know, back in the day when yeah, people wrote letters and yeah. sent postcards. Yeah, you know. Yeah. People today, there some of them are un too. they're unaware of the, the, the protocol of the post office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, they don't yeah. even know. I don't even know what the post office is really for, actually. Because you know, you got my phone. I'm good. I got my whole world on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to buy anything. They have pictures of everything. My Apple phone. I don't have to buy cars or anything. I just look at the phone. There it is, right there. Bugatti. There it is, right there. But he wrote a lot of letters to my mother, and he indicated in those letters. You know, one time mm -hmm. they were playing ping pong. He was a sergeant, a staff sergeant, a master sergeant. And uh, one time they threw the ping pong table into the water or something. He didn't. He didn't care for that because oh. he liked to play ping pong. Yeah. Oh. Why'd they throw it in the water? Young people, you know. Yeah. They just got mad or something? Uh, it's a military. They make you mean. You know, for a reason. They were you never throw a around. thing into the water just to see what it does? You know. They never take a hammer yeah, and just Yeah, I had a pool in, in Arizona. I'd naked. throw the lawn furniture yeah. in there. Yeah. Just yeah. watch it sink. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what <laughs> they <were> <laughs> <laughs> you, you buy insurance only for the things uh, you can predict, like ear infections and chronic illness. Uh, it doesn't cover pre-existing conditions, so watch yourself. Gauge the risks. Insurance might save you a huge out-of-pocket expense. I think 10000 for radiation treatment. So I'm not getting radiation. I'm not. That's I'm, right. The dog has got to be. Yeah, you got to watch what you say on this it. subject because people are nuts. There's dogs yeah. listening. No, I'm not going to spend $20,000 <laughs> no. on, a, on a pet. Right. I yeah. don't have that kind of money, all right? Yeah. Maybe if I'm a Lady Gaga, I can spend twenty, yeah. forty thousand dollars $40,000 on a, a heart condition yeah. on my dog. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I need. To, I don't have that kind of reserve. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at this. You see this? This is condensation. This is about the biometric pressure. Look at the way it's sticking. Can you believe it? Magic. Unbelievable. This happens more than you think. This That's that relative humidity coming at you. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Look at the way it, it won't come off. It won't uh, come off. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's that new environment. God, it sensitive. always amazes me when that happens. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's, it's the pressure in your skin or the, the, uh, the what, what, explain uh, it. Uh, Can the, you explain the, it? The barometric pressure or the blood pressure? How? Which one? The, 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 how the paper sticks to your arm yeah, like that. It's that, that new environmentally uh, sensitive uh, print, that, print the, the, the ink. You think it's the ink? Yeah, it's the ink. I think it had to do with the uh, the conditions, the well, uh, environmental it, conditions. It could be like solar green or something where they recycle it 18,000 times. All right, I'm not going to ask you questions, Charlie. <laughs> if, 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 you're, if, you're, uh, if you're jacking me off right here, don't jack me off. How, how do you feel about human waste and it's green and it looks like a salad? Would you like that? <laughs> I, I, I'm talking about this, Charlie. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... Insurance might save you a huge out of the pockets, but think ten thousand for radiation treatments or fifteen thousand for kidney transplant to minimize the guesswork. Ask your vet to help you figure out the risks of certain diseases based on your pet's age, breed, and medical history. I'm going through that right now. And uh, <laughs> shop around. Make a list of what matters to you, such as the type of illness you want covered. Then ask for a few providers for quotes and compare types of coverage. You'll never get a quote. Uh, uh, Tuparian, Healthy Paws Pet Insurance, and uh, FIGO Pet, FIGO Pet, or FIGO Pet Insurance are worth considering. There's no one size. Uh, so, excuse me? Is that for the football dogs? <laughs> I don't know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> football dogs? It's got a very difficult cadence, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you always have to write. There should be subtitles on the on the, on the talk. Like Figure out what the heck you're oh, yeah. saying. Uh, 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 pet, uh, one size uh, fits uh, no one size fits all solution though because coverage and premiums vary by pet, age, breed and even your zip code when I used to be the animal control officer in Manhattan Beach I used to uh, transport deceased animals to the pet cemetery and uh, they charge you on the weight of the pet so yeah. if you've got a little yeah. uh, lap dog that's going to be considerably uh, cheaper to cremate or bury of what have you uh, to get the ashes. A lot of, a lot of people they, they want the ashes of the deceased yeah. uh, pet. Yeah. The my sister dog. has my dog's ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah she did the mm -hmm. same thing. And uh, I used to have to pick up deceased animals in the house and uh, would charge. There'd be a fee, of course, mm -hmm. and I would never charge them a fee. I found it very difficult to take money from mm -hmm. a, when they're crying. Yeah. And yeah. they're crying. Mm -hmm. And they're crying, and I'm going to say, well, that'll be $65. But yeah. You can write the check out to so-and-so city of, you know, so-and-so. Yeah. I yeah. never took, and it, it, that's my discretion. I'm yeah. in charge. If I don't yeah. want to charge, I don't need to charge. 
Yeah, you want to fire me for not charging? <laughs> fire me for the other things. There's a list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's insane. Yeah, he's never had to pick up a cattle dog on the beach. Yeah. Then you'd be charging. Thieving, uh, <laughs> these are items, I guess these are items of interest. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? These are items of interest. Uh, uh, did you bring your trumpet today? I, I did. How did you know that? Well, the last time I think you had a trumpet and I didn't bring mine. Did I bring mine last time? No, not last time. Did you bring your trumpet? No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I always field. bring mine. Yeah, Thieving. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, I thought we had trumpet this is a very, wah, this is a real wah, item wah, of interest for animal lovers. Thieving deal making monkeys. The long tailed uh, monkey. Wait, what? Roam, uh, can you just read Deer that? making uh, monkeys? Can you read that? Uh, Thieving uh, deal making <laughs> monkeys. Deal making monkeys? Mm. The uh, long tailed uh, macaques? <laughs> Macaques? Why'd you give me this hard word to read? You make me look like an idiot. I don't know. I, because I, what's the first? What, what do you uh, call those monkeys? Uh, my cow monkeys. Is that it? Uh, uh, ooh, that's low value objects to monkeys. Why are they call them? Anyway, it's about a story about the monkeys who go after people's tourists, and they they can just uh, they can tell the difference between expensive items and uh, cheap items like cell phones and laptops. They know are expensive items, so the monkeys. Uh, the bargaining goes on, you know, you have to give them food and then they give you the stolen, uh, uh what? stuff Where back. Where is this going on? And, uh, and, uh, uh, in Bali. Yeah, the, the, the monkeys, the monkeys in Bali are, are notorious fights. for stealing items from tourists and holding them mm -hmm. to ransom for food. Now scientists have discovered that these cheeky monkeys are even smarter than they look. They learn over time which items are most valuable to the visitors and demand more food for higher value loot. What's more, their ability to barter improves with age and experience. The researchers filed, uh, filmed interactions between the uh, monkeys and tourists. They found that uh, low volume objects, the monkeys were more likely to accept small snack, a small s snack. But for cell phones, prescription glasses, and other expensive gear, the bargaining uh, took several minutes until a sufficient food ransom was agreed on. The longest wait before an item was returned was 25 minutes. I would have, I would have, I would have grabbed that monkey yeah, and bashed right. his head that's against that wall. That's when you get the shotgun out and negotiate that I, way. When you first started reading this, I thought it was humans teaching the monkeys to bring back the items. That's my fault, Anthony. Uh, I'm yeah. not the best reader. That's like know. Abu and Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. to think these monkeys have just evolved on their own to do this, that's... That's really scary. It's to amazing. Me. They're they're at war right now. The monkeys. Yeah, and the dogs. And the <laughs> dog killed the monkey, <gasps> right? And then the monkeys have like been just wailing on the dogs they, ever since then. Every time a dog comes around, it's like ten of them go chase them away. Uh, that is the most adorable yeah. war. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the dogs they're not giving up either, you know, but they haven't gotten another one yet. So that's that's an interesting item. I yeah, everybody should be familiar with that. Monkeys. I mean, you know, well, you know they had that gorilla thing going on at University of Wisconsin, where they were giving them Pro Tools and a whole studio and uh, having them write music. True story. Yeah, any, Absolutely true story. You have any? Did have you had any surgery? Yeah, you have no. been cut. Good uh, for you. How no. about you? Have you been cut? No. How about uh, you, Anthony? Did yeah. you cut? What kind oh, of surgery did you yeah. have? No. Uh, I had a ambiotic cyst on my back, and they had to take that out. And How then, long ago was that? That was when I was like 24, and then oh, when I was 19, I had like a real surgery where uh, oh my God. there was a pocket on my small intestine that got blocked, oh, and, oh, and yeah. everything I put in my body was either thrown up or, you know, And how released. old were you when that was going on? 19. <gasps> oh, yeah. my God. That was bad. Who paid for that? My father, thankfully. Jeez. Yeah. Augmented reality glasses are helping surgeons make sure their operation come off without a mistake, said so-and-so and so-and-so, and so-and-so and so-and-so, and so-and-so uh, at New York. Yeah, I don't say the names. If no, you're not going to know who they are anyway. Yeah, right. That's right. And uh, at New York's Hospital for Special Surgery recently donned spectacles made of uh, by uh, VUZIX Corporation to perform the first augmented reality assisted knee replacement. The glass had showed uh, a 3D model of the leg with a diagram of planned cuts. When a surgeon makes cuts exactly as planned, a green light appears as instruments are moving. It cuts 
are off, the line turns, if the cuts are off, the line turns red. Since it's clamped to the patient's knees, also transmits signals to the glasses, sending a precise measurement of their of the of the position in 3D to help a surgeon keep the maybe it can help the surgeon write a prescription without looking like chicken scratch <laughs> he's playing video games knee wars <laughs> Pokemon Go yeah. <laughs> in the knee you wake up and there's a tablet in your leg from uh, this one is about your weight uh, those extra pounds we put on in midlife aren't likely the result of slowing metabolism at least until age after age 60, researchers yeah. have found. An international team of scientists looked at the average calories burned by more than 6,400 people in 29 countries from just after birth to age 95. Their findings published in the Journal of Science say that once people reach their adult rate of burning food energy by their early 20s, that rates stay steady until 60. All right, that was a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then food starts to taste so good when you get to be about sixty. Do you want to? Do you want to play something first on that trumpet? Yeah. Wait. I thought you brought your trumpet. No, I I, I didn't bring my trumpet. I, I'm not gonna. No, she said. I brought family. mine. Wow! Look at you. Wow! Look at oh, that. Damn. I love so people that nice. know how to play a musical instrument. Oh, well, that's. That's uh, a, not exactly a cheap trumpet right there. That's that. that. Oh, oh, you, I knew it. <laughs> Booyah. My, my grandfather gave me this trumpet. He uh, was a you, trumpet uh, player. You, oh, oh, you that's put, nice. You put your trumpet down. You you put your trumpet down, and you're going to hold it. You're going to hold the music for me. I wonder you guys are so calm and collected. You got something of value. You just told it right there. Really, <laughs> life gets rough. And I'll go first. Theme from I'll show you how it's done. Theme from Love Story. You're not the only one. Uh, what's all that dialogue in that movie? Oh. Uh, what? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, Can you name that tune? Time, you're getting better. Have you been practicing? That's the. Oh, you're too funny. <laughs> you have. I'm not kidding. That was. Uh, that was. Uh, what was that? What was that? That was. Uh, Do you have a mute for your trumpet or no? No, Charlie. I just cruise. I don't even have a license. Uh, <laughs> that was the theme from Love Story. Okay, can you guess this one? <laughs> That was, <laughs> that, that was If I Was a Rich Man. Oh, I love that okay. song. Can you name this tune? <laughs> that was the song from Mash. I know the B-side. Uh, I know the B-side okay. to that song. So what I'm telling you is... What's the B-side to that? I know There's how, some good songs in there. I know how to play... Uh, what was the B-side to the, that song? When it was first when everybody was done in 45. There you go, sweetheart. Know? There you go. Can I call you sweetheart? Sure. Without getting uh, <laughs> canceled. <laughs> was that one uh, me too? <laughs> that was three blind mice. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm getting nice. to the end of it now. I just want to show you. Then we'll play a duet. You then, have any duets in then there? I'm gonna, then we're going to hear, and this is. Uh, this is uh That was America. <laughs> what is that America? <laughs> and here's another song that I think everybody will know. <laughs> America the Beautiful? America the Beautiful. I did know that one. I didn't know how good I am. How come everything you play sounds the same? Because I saw the name of the song on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And here's one that everybody should know. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wow. Did you hear it? <laughs> Why you all have your, you <laughs> bailed so early of, on that. That's the sound of silence. <laughs> silence. And the last one, I believe, and I hope it's the last one. And I'll keep going. <laughs> all right. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. I don't hear anybody clapping, but thank you, guys. <laughs> Now it's your turn, okay? Man. Can I play some of your music? That's the, that's the idea. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to have a rim for something. Now see how it's done. Okay, uh, here's your first one. Just play it so they know what it is. I understand. <laughs> That's the theme from Love Story. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, but I love somebody else too. <laughs> this is my favorite. Yeah. This is my, can I love more than one person? Uh, yeah, for many years, sure. They're all mad. If I was a rich man. Na 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 if I was <laughs> Here's the one. This is a favorite. Everybody. Some people committed suicide when they show one at the oh, at the end. <laughs> now hit it. <laughs> to B side. Lessons. There's a place right you on the know corner. What the was to that song? Uh, I keep bringing that up, and nobody's giving me a straight answer back because you don't know what it was. What was the name of it? Suicide is painless. It brings on many changes. Right. I oh, that's a fact. It I know that. Place. It's a song about suicide. Right. I know it's all about it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to Home Depot, and all the rope was sold out. <laughs> oh, oh, here's one I think. Went too early in the pandemic. The guys outside were like, "We could help you for fifty dollars." <laughs> <laughs> Sing along if you know it. Wow! I want to. You, you make me want to take more lessons because I originally got this in Okinawa when I was in the Air Force and I was taking lessons from the wife, uh, a drunken wife. Can you play um, uh, oh, this is a nice tune. I don't know. I, I don't know this one. one. tell you when we were playing and, and this is no offense or anything but you, it's so sexy <laughs> oh i thought you were gonna be like you look hideous uh, so no, uh, isn't it sexy guys when a woman plays a musical instrument yeah, and knows yeah, what she's know. doing yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so much more you just like it because i'm not talking <laughs> <laughs> That's not so, Jesse. I mean, it's just so three-dimensional. I mean, how many how many women know how to, you know, play a musical instrument? Like, 0 0.1? No, that's not true. Uh, 0 0.1? There's a, a Allison, uh, I forget her last name, but she's plays at all the orchestras and concertos, trumpet like player. And will you, will, will you, uh, do you need music? I don't think you would. Can you play taps in, in oh, yeah. of, uh, uh, Louis, Louis, uh, Louis Anderson and, and Jeff Scott. Reveille. And uh, yeah. uh, 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 Bob Bob Saget. Mm -hmm. And uh, who was that gentleman from Saturday Night Live who did the news? Norm MacDonald. Norm mm -hmm. MacDonald. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and any of our listeners who lost Betty White. in their in their family and uh, and just for all the all the all the all the people that have uh, moved on. That's Go like some it. Strauss trumpet. She's got this little thing down that moves around, that, that little uh, tube down there. Quiet, quiet.
Beautiful. Got it. God bless. Easy on the table. Uh. <laughs> uh, that was, was, That's that great. was nice. That was great. That's yeah. what I want to. I want to learn how to play that mm -hmm. like that because the reason I took up trumpet is because it just when it's played properly, it is one of the most the most obnoxious pleasant. things. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, I'm going to ask you to leave in a minute. No. Oh, it's nice. I like them. I mean, that was how it's supposed to be played. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go any further. We play. You played um, at the store over the pandemic, and I really do think you got better. Uh, you're too kind. Keep uh, practicing. I have, to, I have to build up the lip. You have a nice... That's right. Yeah, well, I started playing that Roast Battle band every week, so now I am have to play oh, every week. Are you involved in the Roast Battle? Yeah, we, just, we play in the band. Me and Joel and Chris. And this is on Tuesday evenings? Yeah. In the belly room? Yeah. And so I've just... We learned, like, eight new songs, so I just keep the... Gotta get the lift up and up. Yeah. Yeah. And how do they pick the applicants for that? I think you submit to Sarah Keller, and you're talking about to do roast battle. I'm just, I'm, I mean, where do they get the people who are roasting one another? Yeah. Yeah. And so like, you can submit to their booker, and then she kind of makes decisions on her own. You guys but, should battle. I'm just curious. <laughs> no, I'm not just, I'm not that would be amazing. That would be amazing. That's got to be uh, about a 21 age show, though. Cause uh, thank you, thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Wasn't that great, guys? Yeah, yeah that's that right. is just Absolutely. terribly. I don't, I don't know. I just it, it, it's moved me. Uh, it, 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 it's uh, it, it's very sexy. I don't know if I can say that in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. very sexy. It's Boy. just like you must have a few boyfriends, huh? <laughs> I have one boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> one he bought. So I have this new amp that I play with, and he got me that for Christmas. He's very. Yeah. Supportive of it. That's what all girls say. Have one boyfriend. Wow. Yeah, have one boyfriend. <laughs> Is he in the entertainment? Uh, yeah, he's a comedian oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Moquin. He's got ten boy uh, girlfriends. I'm sorry. Boy Last friend, name? Moquin. Canadian. Indian. Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. Indian. Indian. Hey. Hey. Sir. Canadians are good. Be good people. One of my best friends is Canadian. Oh, good, great. Checks out. great for you. He's real, not like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep practicing. One of these days, yeah. we'll do a duet. So, uh, how how is everybody doing with this pandemic? People say, "What's the vibe at the comedy store?" And what have you? I said, "The vibe at the comedy store is like the vibe everywhere. It's different. It's success. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better though every day. It feels like it's like it's getting better every day. Yeah. And Charlie is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. The, the comedy store is nice. The vibe is nice. Is, uh, have you ever been to a funeral? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me get their trumpet back. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but it, we're going back to two, two shows a night. Uh, yeah. I think on Valentine's Day we're gonna start okay. and open Mondays. Yeah, right? going six days a week, trying to push to seven. They're bringing potluck back. They're they're really they're really pushing it for it to be held. The night that I was there, uh, they turned over the OR twice. Yeah, and they had a show in the belly room. That's right. And uh, uh, the, the gentleman from the television was doing the show there. Aziz. Aziz. Yeah. yeah. And then uh -huh. the, the guy, uh, the other gentleman uh, with the mohawk, kind of the... Oh, Theo? Theo had a Theo show going on Theo there. And uh, it, the place was happening. The patio yeah. was packed. It felt, and, uh, felt good that night. That, Brad Pitt uh, was there. Yeah, Brad Pitt uh, yeah. was there. And Rami Malek. Who was Brad Pitt with? Rami Malek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they went to a, see is Aziz. That a, is that a model? You know Brad. Said. Oh, Ram. No, he's an actor. He played. He played in Mr. Robot in that Freddie Mercury. He played Freddie Mercury. Wow. In that Queen movie. And uh, I, the director Quentin Tarantino yep. was there. Yeah, that yeah. was wild. And was it, it was a three funny. mask or a six mask show? <laughs> <laughs> one mask. <laughs> Only one. one. Mask. Wow. So it's it's on its way. It's coming. We just got to get past this. Uh, you just have to stop with the fear thing. Everybody dies. <laughs> so get over it. Get, I have a great saying. <laughs> you should be the new head of the CDC. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, it We're new. definitely going to have to reevaluate his, his participation in this podcast. <laughs> There's no doubt I'm about it. For a year and a half, get sick and get over it. Get sick and get over it. 
<laughs> Work for me. I'm I wonder, still here. I wonder if people are, haven't, a lot of people have never questioned their mortality or thought about it. And, it's, it's just and, like wolves and sheep, right? So when the wolf comes down to the sheep herd, they go after the ones that are in fear first. That's what, how it works eh. in the normal this uh, is biological a, pro process. This is a pretty fun, uh, <sighs> I haven't done this and some people have indicated on social media that they were interested in uh, the 10 questions. Would you be interested in answering some basic questions? Yeah. It brings up some very unique conversation. Uh -huh. uh, some of the questions. Uh, he had a minor in psychology. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite, uh, what is your most uh, uh, fascinating or favorite comedy experience to date? Good or bad? Go ahead, Anthony. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to you. What's your favorite movie? The Matrix. And what's your favorite movie star? Rami Malek. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. What movie do I know him in? Is he, okay. the, is he the villain in uh, the new James Bond movie? I actually like him from a TV show, so I guess Keanu Reeves. It could be anybody. How about you, Anthony? Who's your favorite movie star? Uh, favorite movie star? Probably Chris Farley. Uh, living. Living. We like this. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, he, he, he kicks butt. He's worth a zillion dollars, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you had an opportunity to go anywhere in the world, uh, free of charge, everything was free, the airfare, the hotel, the lodging, uh, the gratuities, the meals, uh, the souvenirs, on the gifts, uh, the tours, uh, all sorts of tickets, any kind of tickets whatsoever, or, or on the house. You didn't even have to bring a penny. Everything would be paid for. Everything. If you needed a Coke in the lobby of an airport, it would be paid for. Where would you go? Ireland. Hmm. Why? Because you like to look at green grass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and drink warm beer? Is, it, is, it, is the beer warm in Ireland? I've no. never been. She likes it really cold as the climate. Or is it the I've seen pictures. It looks so beautiful there. Ireland. You get there and you look around. Just go to a golf course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to a golf course. You'll be in Ireland. People go to Ireland. It was so beautiful. Yeah, if you like grass. I love grass. Well, then go to Ireland. Uh, Not really. That's okay. How about you, Anthony? Where would you go? I would go to Calabria, Italy. I think yeah. my great grandfather was put up for adoption when uh, he was born. He was one of 19, put up for adoption, never saw his family again, and his orphanage is there, and none of us have been back. So I One of 19? He, yeah, his dad had one kid with his wife and 19 with a mistress, and then gave all 19 away. And then my great grandfather never saw his siblings again, went to this orphanage at 15, moved to America, and so like. My family starts with him, so I would like to go back there and see if we can find anyone else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you a Jehovah yeah. Witness? No. <laughs> Are you Anthony? No. You know any Jehovah Witnesses? I maybe, but they let you know. No, you, they'll yeah. let you know. Yeah, no. Oh, I How about you? you no, know I avoid them. We had one on the podcast once, and it was the most uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. just cut the tension in the room. I mean, it's just. I don't know. Uh, I don't do you hate your mother? Of course not. How about you, Anthony? I love my mom. I know you do. Uh, I had an ex-girlfriend. Okay. Wild. Insane. <laughs> if you were, Anthony, if you were a famous rock star, who would you want to be? Freddie Mercury, Liberace, Elton John, George Michael, Boy George, or Marvin Gaye? I am Marvin Gaye. <laughs> okay, how about you, uh, Jesse? Freddie Mercury. What are my choices? I'm looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> What was the most fondest memory, or gro or worst, I guess, growing up that you just sticks out in your head? Fondest or worst memory growing up? I mean, it's kind of a collection, but the slice of life Pick when one. I lived with I, my mom and my sister at this little house, I called it our humble home of happiness because we just, just the three girls and we had a swimming pool and it was like no rules. And Arguing about who's going to do the dishes? No, was, my mom just, fights. it was just fine. Time in a month, everybody was mad. 
Oh, I was before my period. That's why it was the best. <laughs> Jesse, I didn't want to go there. I, I, I wanted to go around that. I've got, I have sisters that listen to this podcast. <laughs> when I had my period for the first time, I was so stressed out. And then I told my mom, I'm just glad it's over. And oh she said, God. you know this is going to happen this for, why, again so, every month, this right? Is why I and I did not know. Yeah. This is why you got to give women a pass. I mean, if I was that way, and that started to happen to me. I would go to urgent care. Yeah. And I would yeah. sit there and I would say, I'm not leaving. So whatever's <laughs> going on, it's going to stop. I'm not. I, you, you see what's going on down here? I'm not leaving. What the hell is going on down here? It's weird. I mean, if I get a hangnail, I'm crying. <laughs> and if you got a hangnail once a month? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And you, yeah. Oh, and then, the, and then they're late, mm. and it's not coming. Hey, where's my hangnail? Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. I would be in urgent care, screaming, throwing trays around. Do you see what's going on here? <laughs> oh, my God. I feel so bad for you women for that reason. Uh, do you believe in God? Yes. Well, yeah. You must have. You had the Bible on there and the Quran. <laughs> yeah, all three of them. You did too, so you must believe in a higher yeah. power, as they say. For sure. And uh, it's the laws of physics, energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be changed. Have you ever had a law? <laughs> Have you, I'm trying not to look at him. <laughs> have you ever had law enforcement uh, dispatched to your private residence? No. Anthony? Yes. What were the circumstances, briefly? Uh, I. Why did you hit her? <laughs> <laughs> I drunk. Uh, I forget why. I had a warrant out for my arrest when I was like 18. It was for something stupid. And I, I forget what it was, but it was the only time the police had to come to my house. They caught me in the streets the rest of the times. So that, that was good. News flash. It must have been a serious warrant to come to your private residence. Yeah, I, I think they'd been looking for me for a little bit. And it, it was uh, a missed court date with for a DUI dr driving recklessly. So yeah, wow. yeah, that'll do it. They'll come to your house for that. Everybody I know from Boston has like warrants. They, I saw something I yesterday, why. I forget where I saw it, that a, a large number of American citizens uh, Got warrants. have been on the wrong side <laughs> of the law. Quite, yeah, quite yeah. a large number. It was startling. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been on the wrong side of the law probably eight yeah. or nine times. It's yeah. And not the best. Trying to stay away. That's right. Yeah, we say 80. You like olives? Oh, yeah. I used to put them on my fingers. You ever do that? No. The black olives, <laughs> you put them on your fingers? No, my parents... Never divorced. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, uh, Anthony? Uh, no. Do you like olives? No. Uh, this one's kind of. One. This one's. This one's kind of. This kind. This is kind of touchy. And please be truthful because you. You have to be. I swore in. Have you ever considered hurting yourself? Mm, I've considered it. Oh. God. But like I've th like not considered it, but I've oh. thought about it. Oh God. <laughs> 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 I would never do it though. Okay. We have to process this information. We have to be processed. So, uh, how long ago uh, did you consider these feelings? I've, I've just, I th I've uh -huh. thought about it before. But my stepmom has lost both her kids to suicide. So, I would never oh do it because I know the effects of that. Yeah. And Tell us about the, the gentleman who killed himself? Fell on a piano. I mean, how bad is this going to get, Jesse? Gentleman who fell on a piano. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever considered hurting yourself, uh, Anthony? Bri briefly one time. Can I call you Tony? Is Tony all right? I don't like Tony. You don't? No, that is a family thing. I remember being a kid and one of my friend's moms called me Tony and I want to say five of my aunts cornered this woman and it was like, he's like, not a Tony. And ever since then, it's never it's been like, a It's uh, like that yeah. movie with uh, Bill Murray uh, in the army now or something. Don't call me Francis. Don't call me Francis. Nobody calls me Francis. I'll kill you if you call me Francis. That's kind of like Howie. Have Does you ever considered hurting thing? yourself? To the who? Can you consider letting me hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go shrap. Uh, right now. Let's get it. See those? That's all scar tissue. That's no, there's no knuckles there, see? So I used to be like, you said what? Bah! That was like a, to all my 20s, you know? Uh... Yeah. Uh, so you've considered hurting yourself, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but boy, the other person I think in the hospital, she jumped on. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anthony, have you ever been attracted to somebody else's mother? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's not many very pretty people in Worcester, mm-hmm. Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a good looking mom, I wasn't diverting my far, eyes. Uh, I had to go to Natick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how far away is that from uh, Boston? 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Not too bad, huh? You ever been to Worcester? Ah. Uh, it's not a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke. Yeah. You would have been a, you would have been good and a good like, like a uh, real person if you were born, born in Boston. This is the part you have to watch out. Now that it's on Spotify, people don't see images; they only hear sound. So you have to keep sound because you can't have any dead air. You know, <laughs> if there's any dead air, you know, people start to you know you know oh 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 they just panic. They just they just. I forgot I was alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know yeah, what I mean? I know. There's got to be constant, constant yeah. stimulation. Yeah. They can't Absolutely. be at peace with their own mind. The yeah. power went out at my because house it's... the other day. Mm-hmm. What it was, was I light a candle. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit in silence. Just like a caveman. Is, <laughs> that, is, it, is that your natural hair color? No, this is... <laughs> it's beautiful. I like it. I like it the way... It, you know, you're on probation for what me too already. So, yeah. watch it. You can't yeah. talk about hair color anymore. When's the last time you cried, Jesse? God, I want, probably my last period. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I get all emotional. No, you know, <laughs> Louis Anderson. Well, you don't know if it's gonna stop. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can. You know, blood is important. To I know it's body. gonna stop. Was well, so that like a baby or from like being hurt? Incredible. What? <laughs> I'm glad you guys are laughing at, at what, what he's saying today. Dr. Charlie. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Charlie after like this one. Like when your finger stuck in the door, car door, you know, and the keys are inside. That's not quite the uh, pain he, from a period. <laughs> says, no, I'm not helping you. You're free. You, whoa, he's, cra- he's crazy. You're Anthony, what's me. your favorite uh, go-to ca- uh, karaoke, karaoke song? Uh, who let the dogs out? Baja Men is the easiest yeah. one you can pick. I'm not. I've a got an easier one. Go ahead. What's yours? I don't like karaoke. I. You know what I pick? What? The Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. Don't let me down. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Yeah. That repeats quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't right. let me down. <laughs> don't let me down. <laughs> yeah, that's a real tearjerker. <laughs> What is uh, what is what is one of the foods you can't live without, Anthony? Uh, meatballs, hundred percent. And uh, how about you, uh, Jesse? Jesse? Mashed potatoes, potatoes, French fries, uh, all that. Anything with sugar in it. You have a morning routine. Yeah, I get up, I make tea, I'll uh, make the bed, and I take my dog on a hike. Wow. How about you, Anthony? Wake up, stretch, work out, eat breakfast. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Your morning right. routine yeah, yeah, ends yeah, yeah. in going back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good way to end up. What's the worst job you ever had, Anthony? Working, I started paving roads, asphalt work when I was 13 for my father, and I did that till I moved out here, and that is by far the worst job. I yeah, could. that's why I'm Absolutely. that's why I'm so yeah. When these actors and actresses talk about how hard it was to make that particular movie, they don't know what hard that oh, sucks. That, yeah. I remember being fourteen. They don't years know what old. that hard work yeah. is. I remember being fourteen years old, jackhammering for sixteen hours a day in ninety degree yeah. heat in yeah. South Boston, getting yelled at by every mother that had walked by. You know that those are hard jobs. I, I forget who was on stage last night talking about. Their friend, what like you said, they're like, LA's so hard. It's such a hard town, and she was like, "Have you ever been?" to any third world country you know what i mean like this yeah. is it's hard because your ego can't take it here that's fine that's but right. actual hard is everywhere yeah. outside of la yeah yeah, yeah. I, uh, americans uh, even uh, well, in, stick them in boston for a winter see how they like yeah. that yeah. It, including yeah. uh including la and the whole country i think is a severe a bunch of wimps <laughs> it, 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 not so Losers much and wimps uh, uh, <laughs> Not so much what Charlie's Couch trying potatoes. to trying to communicate, but mm-hmm. I think as Americans, and you know, I'm guilty of it as anybody else, but uh, I'm trying to get out of it. But they take 
for granted mm. yeah. what they have here. Yeah, it's true. You it's go true. to the supermarket, and I talk about this, there's, there's a whole aisle of just milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. milk, yeah. rice yeah. milk, yeah. tomato milk, uh, uh, avocado <laughs> tomato. milk, uh, soy <laughs> milk, yeah. half milk. Uh, chocolate milk, mm -hmm. three percent milk, half and half milk, <laughs> full milk, 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 uh, milk, 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 uh, milk. <laughs> and why are you pissed? Why is everybody so pissed off with all that milk? But nobody takes the chance, uh, the time to just go in the supermarket and stand there and be quiet and just look around at the abundance. I never knew milk came. To walk the across the street, you got to push a button and it'll tell you when to go. <laughs> Tell you when to stop. It, it's yeah. all the roads are paved, curbs and sidewalks, all these little things that everybody takes for granted. Yeah. yeah. Like you were saying, in third world nations, they got the roads aren't paved, the, the, they don't even have stores, it's like shacks. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, the people in India are using the morning uh, constitution with a little uh, metal can. <laughs> <laughs> they walk out near the train tracks. It's true, there's yeah. no plumbing, there's no flush, yeah. Yeah. there's no running water. Yeah, hey, you're describing Virginia, where I lived and grew up. <laughs> that may be well, that's still the same today. Is that what you said? We only had pine bark and uh, like water to eat for breakfast. And then it was the oddest thing seeing milk I'm in the store. Me. True that's, story. That's where the rub is coming milk with you. Milk in the store? From, uh, what is that? We go out to the cow and get milk. What's this stuff? In, why do the people... Does this stuff sell? Right. Yeah. Wow. Right yeah. from, the, right from uh, huh. the, the cow. Yeah. But yeah, hard work for... Four years old, dad puts a check in my hand and said, okay, we can teach you how to, how to shoot because I don't want no accents around you. Wow. Yeah, bowled me right over. My old three uncles were there too, laughing their asses off. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, I just didn't expect Charlie to be as talkative today. Uh, yeah, I got, the, uh, I got the, the energy butter muffin thing this morning. It was really good. <laughs> you know, I got to get through my meds and I'm out of them too, so... Uh, I guess I'll shut up now. I guess we can do some items of interest as well. Do you guys want to bring up anything? Anything do you want to, uh, pet peeves or anything you want to get off your chest? This COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of it. Yeah. That really is a big pet peeve of mine. Yeah. This virus. It'll pass. I just hope it passes this, this soon. I mean, this is not uh, year, year number ties. three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the UK just went out and said, go about your lives. That's you right. You know what I mean? That's it, it. It's just, it's so weird to me that America Everybody is, getting it is the ones that are shying away from going forward. Right. That's never, in history, that's never really been the case. But here we are just yeah, hoping. Yeah, it's going to fear, lose some. Yeah. That's about it. And work ethic, get some. Uh, when Jay when Jason Bracy lost his sight at seven to uh, uh, eye cancer, he refused to give up his dream on playing football. He's 15 years old. He started calling coaches in the area until uh, the Modesto Raiders agreed to take him on. He memorized every play and where each play was supposed to be, impressing his coach so much he was named the team's starting quarterback. I can't believe this. Wow. With the, why, wouldn't it be easy to play piano? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, with the help of his dad, who guides him from the sidelines with a walkie-talkie to a speaker in his helmet, Whoa. He, he recently led his team to a win over a team that had turned him down. It's all memory. It's all about having trust in the player, the receiver, and the team. Sounds like everybody's out for a fast break on the offense. I have to trust them 100%. But <laughs> well, the other team must... The other must. The other team must be on suicide watch to lose to a blind quarterback. <laughs> Jeez. That is crazy. I would love to watch that. I. You I know, didn't. I would. Yeah. This kid's already blind. He doesn't need CTE too. Like why? Yeah. Like, yeah. You're right. Why? Why <laughs> not put him behind a piano? Why let this kid go harm because himself? Because he's gonna support. get a gold star like everybody else in class. <laughs> Indian Trail High School in Wisconsin went into active shooter lockdown after a student's frisbee struck a gunshot detector in the gym. The errant flying what? disc what? triggered in an automated system which instructed all staff and students to barricade doors or flee the school. The school <laughs> official canceled the incident, uh, conceded the incident was frightening, but that it is important to note that the students and staff did a great job 
uh, conducting the practices and procedures they had been taught. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. When I was yeah. going to high school, that was the last thing that Nobody you had to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, we we had had guns to high school. The only thing I had to worry about, there was a funny guy. I don't know how funny you think he is, but I thought it was kind of comical. You know, between breaks when the bell rings and everybody floods the halls, mm -hmm. yeah. this mm -hmm. guy would walk at a high rate of speed right in the middle of the hall with his hand out just like this. <laughs> 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 I thought that was comical. Yeah, I like great. that. I said, there's a guy that's kind of having fun, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, just walked down the hall, right in the middle of the hall with his fist out like that with a funny look on his face. I think he even had glasses. And brought a trench coat too, probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. A judge has ruled that the Arkansas State Police cannot filter out the words pig, jerk, and copper uh, from comments on their official Facebook page. Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck uh, those uh, pig ops. Were really getting mad at <laughs> copper? Like, yeah. Hey, like, copper. It's like, like a Boston term. It's a copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know? that seems crazy yeah. that they would... Judge uh, D.P. You you Marshall Jr. Within, you know? wrote that yeah. while there are there is an undeniable anti-police bent to these terms, the First uh, Amendment bent. protects disrespectful language. <laughs> Um, Don't you think if you got that many bad reviews, you'd look within it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just bent. That's all. Saudi Arabia plans to turn an abandoned offshore oil platform into an extreme park and resort. Named the rig, mm. the planned 1.6 million square foot park in the Arabian Sea will feature roller coasters, submarines, bungee jumping, and skydiving. Just a great place to go and lose your life, I guess. <laughs> uh, as well as three hotels and 11 restaurants stretched across interconnected platforms. High rollers, uh, high rollers can arrive by helicopter or dock at uh, Super Yacht Marina. The park is expected to attract, uh, to attract tourists from around the world uh, who want to kill themselves, <laughs> uh, said Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. No, it didn't say that. Uh, Dog TV, a newly launched TV network in the UK, will feature shows designed to so soothe four-legged viewers suffering from separation anxiety and stress um, when their humans are not home. Here we go. Oh my God. Giving rights to property again. I love it. <laughs> the programming said the network's chief scientists will include colors, audio, frequencies, what? and camera angles that will help canines to feel relaxed and comforted. I thought they can't see color. I guess I gotta bring my t-shirt back out. It says Beta Peter. <laughs> I uh, thought dogs were colorblind. Uh, yeah, right? I was under that same I, information. I, I, it's uh, varying shades of it's gray area. Right? I don't want to run out of time, so let's do the plugging now, and then we'll continue with the item. Hey, hey sure. that's okay. Watch that. Wow, you just uh, all over it today. Uh, Anthony, do you want to plug anything? Let us know about what's coming mm. up with you, how people can get a hold of you. Yeah, uh, you can follow me on you know, Instagram. You don't want to accept with if you have any warrants, you may not want to. <laughs> <do that. laughs> They're not Be coming no, to like, California. He, he lives in Cleveland. He's just <laughs> in for the day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my Instagram is ant period amarello, A N T period A M O R E L L O. I'm in San Bernardino February 12th, and I'm doing Shoebox Comedy February 25th. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Say it again once more slow uh, how they can get a hold of you on the, the social media. I always like people to do that twice. <laughs> You can find me on Instagram at Ant period Amarello, A N T period A M O R E L L O. Dynamite. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Jesse? I am at. Porn playing friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean that the, you know, I don't mean something, just nothing, you know, that's, you know, that could be taken so many different ways. Uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> Um, you can follow me all all things social media at Jetski Johnson J E T S K I J O H N S O N. One more time, that's at Jetski Johnson J E T S K I J O H N S O N. And at the comedy store, we perform every week on Wednesdays. All the door guys perform uh, Wednesdays. It's called Up Next in the Belly Room. And Are you the Jetskis? Uh, it's a nickname, Jet Ski. Oh. I've actually never ridden a Jet Ski. It's a dream of mine. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Seems like an attainable dream. <laughs> huh? I'll have a Jet If you ski, dream yeah. small, you, you reach all your dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
So there you go. Yeah, and if you're, and, and and you're a little bit, you know, a little off, a little bit like him, you don't. Thanks again for playing that trumpet. That was beautiful. My pleasure, Alan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. That was great. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I still play for That's other awesome. people, you know? Yeah. Uh, and thanks for having me. I love this podcast. You're allowed to play taps. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only old people go to their house. Only those guys get And that. you can find this podcast on my YouTube channel, Brian Holtzman. You can subscribe if you want. That'll help. Uh, I have a Patreon account. And uh, if you want a Dead Air t-shirt, you can go to Holtzman.store and get one of those. And, uh, and, uh, oh, yeah. And there he goes. That's great. And, uh, uh, I'm on Instagram and what have you. And, uh, thanks, guys, for coming to this yeah. podcast. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having thanks us. For having us. Huh. Nice to get out of Hollywood for a change, right? Definitely. Yeah, I've never been down to Redondo Beach. It's beautiful. It it's really just, is. It's just uh, south of LAX. It's no big deal. Yeah. I had a comic who was complaining about Hollywood and coming here and how far it was. And it was, uh, and I didn't say anything, but I felt like saying, this is the same guy that drives all the way to Arizona <laughs> yeah. to do a comedy show all the way to Arizona, or New Mexico, or El Paso. And he's yeah. worrying about it's, yeah. it's 17 miles from my house to the comedy store. Yeah. In Hollywood. yeah, yeah. It's all in the damn people 17 LA, miles. Yeah. And most of it's through those oil fields. Yeah. On La Cienega. Yeah. yeah. It's right. not a bad ride. All my friends in LA don't want to come to Huntington, uh, Huntington Beach. No, I don't want to go behind the orange curtain. And then I get down to my house and say, wow, it's really nice down here. <laughs> yeah. You know? So. Dead air, dead air. Ah. You want to hear about uh, Will Smith? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Will Smith is emerging from a midlife crisis, said so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so mm. and so -and -so magazine. <laughs> the rapper turned uh, yeah. actor who for decades, uh, for decades driven by a desire to become the world's biggest movie star. Well, I think he pretty uh, well. Pretty much aced yeah. 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 his yeah. ticket punch. He pretty much aced that. Very cooperative, music. does anything the studio wants, does mm -hmm. any, you know, they got to sign stuff, they got to appear on talk shows. Mm -hmm. They have to play the game, and they love him because he's cooperative, and he does everything they ask. He doesn't get in trouble. Off, off. He's just nope. a model. A uh, he's just a perfect candidate for an international movie star. He won them good old boys. And, uh, yeah, like that. Uh, decades driven by the desire to become the world's biggest movie star, a focus that ex extracted a toll on his relationships and on his own emotional health. Yeah, because mm -hmm. people don't realize when you, you know, I like to do one thing a day. One thing a day is enough for me. Uh -huh. Whatever that one thing is. You're an international movie star. You're doing 20 things a yeah. day. Yeah. You're, going, yeah. you're getting in yeah. the car. They're taking you to another right. location. You're going to another location. You're getting in the car. You're going to another location. This Steve Harvey guy, he probably oh, yeah. doesn't have time to wipe his ass. Yeah. I mean, how many TV shows does he have? He's yeah. doing uh, Miss America or Miss Universe contest in Manila. He's he's yeah. uh, break, uh, saying the names wrong. He's picking the wrong winner. Yeah. He don't know where the hell he is. Yeah. He's got this uh, Family Feud. He had a talk show. Then he's got this other show. He's got yeah. he's got so many shows. I don't know what. I, I mean, he just wrote a book too, right? He's writing yeah. books. Yeah. I mean, I mean, okay, okay. The Put the time. brakes on. Don't you want to lay on the beach? <laughs> Forget about life yeah. for a while. What the? I mean, how, how long can you keep this this kind of this? I mean, uh, yeah, I, you're yeah. all the time. The cell phone's going off like every minute. Oh. <laughs> I was like, where are you going? <laughs> I mean, that guy is. This is what hey, I'm man, talking about. Great, bro. Can you give me an industry? Uh, um, you know. His relationships and own, it took a toll on his own emotion, uh, emotional health. That began to change following the death of his father, Willard. In 2016, his father was an inspiration, he says, and also one of my greatest sources of pain. Okay, here's the pain part. You always got to go with the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Always got to go with the pain. That's Leave right. it out. Leave the pain out. That's yeah. for your family yeah. and close friends. <laughs> you know, you no. don't have to tell everybody your problems. I completely agree. He went yeah. on that the talk show with his wife and found out that she was like sleeping with his right. son's friend yeah, and, and, and he's like crying on, on TV on screen it's like this is maybe people's was, heroes and then here, here, he and his wife get to talk about it on their podcast yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, yeah. Just, uh, it's, it's, it's like, too much attention it's too you know is there anything sacred you know that. so uh, his father was an inspiration says he was also my greatest source of pain Smith recalls yeah. how he uh, watched silently at age nine mm -hmm. as his dad punched his mother in the head well, well, the head is a 
a popular place to punch somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if you're going to uh, punch somebody, a head is a good, you know, a headshot is a famous thing. Yeah. yeah. You know? Dad, yeah. Dad never punched Mom, but boy, he beat me. <laughs> uh, uh, punched his mother in the head. After uh, Willard's death, uh, Smith finally told his mother, Caroline, about those emotions. It was really uh, cathodic. You know, uh, ebb and flow. You know, uh, ebb and flow. Uh, he says, and brutal. Turning 50 in 2018 inspired Smith to confront his unhappiness. You know, I just, I can't, I, you know, there's two, you know. That pales comparison. He rented out. If, you, if you're unhappy, you're an international movie star, pump gas. <laughs> <laughs> just pump gas or get a job at, uh, uh, Fed, uh, not FedEx, uh, Amazon uh, yeah. distributing uh, warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Work in a warehouse, drive a forklift if you're so unhappy because you're a, 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 an international movie star. Yeah, he didn't have it. God. Man. Yeah, I'm like my mood quality life crisis. Nothing like it at all. <laughs> can can, can, I, get a, can I get the subtitle? I'm talking about some brew uh, once a month. He rented a house in Utah and sat in solitude for two weeks. He visited Peru for more than a dozen, uh, 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 I don't know that word, A Y A H U A. S C A, oh, some kind of uh, therapy or some kind of yoga oh, or some God. nonsense. Complex word. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I'll I'll, se I'll, I'll spell it uh, phonetically huh? for you pilots. Uh, Adam Young, Adam Henry, <laughs> Junior, Adam. Just ruining. Sue. <laughs> Sue. Uh, Cat. Adam. Ruining the whole group. I'll we'll say it again. Alpha. Adam Young, Adam. Actually, this is a pretty easy one to do phonetically. Some of the sometimes it's even Adam more Yankee. Yeah. When you start Adam, doing phonetically. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam Young, uh, Adam. Uh, you know, some people are hearing this; they want to know what that is. So if I just mm -hmm. rush over it, yeah. they're not going to know yeah. what I'm talking about, and I want them to know That's what I'm okay. talking Their about. Eyes are just going to glaze over anyway. Adam Young, Adam Henry, Union. Uh, uh, a is in Adam, Y is in Young, <laughs> A is in Adam, Alpha. H is in Henry. Alpha. U as in Young. Bravo. No, Young is Y. U as in uh, Union. <laughs> uh, a is in uh, uh, Adam, S is in Sam, C is in Cat, A is in Adam. I a Husker? Uh, you want to give it a shot? I ask, I ask. There you go. I can, I can read it. <laughs> can you read it one more time? Like uh, so he went there and he did this thing, <laughs> ri the rituals. It's some kind of ritual. I guess where you stick your hands up your butt and, and you try no, to find... No, you a shotgun. You start ch chasing people and shooting them and everybody's got to run away. <laughs> <laughs> and the last person standing wins. <laughs> Despite having never done drugs before, I opened myself to a, up, to a fresh sampling of fruits of human experience. I mean, they go off on tangents. Yeah, I mean, they get so full of themselves. I don't know if full of themselves is a great answer, but they get so up mm. in the stratosphere. Yeah. And in Hollywood, they really kiss your butt when you become a, a personality. Oh, yeah. And it, it, it ruins the mind. It ruins your head. It, 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 you know, it, it, you know people I mean, like, you need this, you need that, you want that, can I get, the, yeah. it, it, it rots your brain. It sure. takes away your yeah. individual yeah. Yeah. Uh, humanity. It's okay to be fucked up. Uh, I mean, just mess up. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. My peer group says it's okay. I moved here from Michigan. I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. I didn't do a damn thing. And now, boy, look at me. I'm all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, exactly. You know, what is he talking about? I opened myself up to fresh sampling of fruits of human experience. And now he thinks he's a poet. I said, yeah. yeah. With, his, yeah. with his intimacy coach. Now he's got an intimacy coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's got an, in, an intimacy, well, well, you know? Couldn't call him shrink. I right? want you, you to teach me, that. you know, what is that? You're going to teach him how to masturbate? And yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Is the proper way to masturbate? I don't know. Intimacy? What do you think about that, Jesse? I think he was oh, depressed. He was <laughs> depressed. He it's took two what? weeks off of his life, went to a nice vacation, and did a bunch of drugs, and had sex with some coach. He paid. Like, must be nice. Really about it. Smith confessed <laughs> that he dreamed of having a harem of 20 girlfriends. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Upon, re uh, uh, on upon reflection, <laughs> he realized this would be a horrific, be horrific. 
<laughs> oh, now he's going into stand-up now comedy. That would be <laughs> Twenty girlfriends. <laughs> The process let me realize that my thoughts were not sins. What? Everybody knows that. What? what? I mean, where are these people? This is what Hollywood will do to, you, mm, do to your see, brain, yeah. I guess. I, I don't uh, know. Uh, How could the percent. guys being so successful have so many uh, problems? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is that it? <laughs>